in the United States, the word democracy gets slung around more than the luggage that Sam Brixton was yanking off baggage carousels. The United States is not a democracy. The United States is a constitutional republic. Look no further than the proof in the founding document. The founders knew that the best way to preserve unalienable rights, natural born rights, rights from God, was through a republic. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their powers from the consent of the governed. So, the Declaration of Independence also points out that government's job is not to give rights. Government's job is to ensure that the rights of its citizens are respected and upheld. And that government derives its powers from its citizens. Now, a democracy is mob rule. And in Federalist 10, Madison warns against the passions and the impulses of the mob. In a mob rule, the voice, the rights, and the beliefs of an individual may not be heard or considered or even administered unless that is what's best for the group. The mob is universal. Democracy is universal. Individual rights, when it comes to a mob, will always succumb to what's best for the mob. And the mob will always supersede what is best for the individual. All too often, politicos in the media attempt to pull the wool over the eyes of people and making them think that their only democratic right is the right to vote. But that's not true because we know that unalienable rights were one, recognized in the, Constitu or in the Declaration of Independence, they are mentioned in the preamble of the Constitution, and they are also the bedrock of the Bill of Rights rights, which was written separately, but meant to be ratified with the Constitution of the United States. There's another safeguard to all of that, and that's the Tenth Amendment, which states that powers not get not delegated to the United States, nor prohibited by the states, are reserved for the states or for the people. The Constitution lays out exactly what the government can do. But it also says that there are powers not listed in this document. And we think those powers should go to the states or to the people. The brilliance of the Founding Fathers is utterly amazing. They knew that a republic would be the best way to preserve individual rights. They knew a republic would be hard to maintain and keep. But ultimately, they believed that if they planted a seed of culture here and entrusted the people to carry it on with education, with morality, with faith, that the beacon of the world would always be the United States. And that's how we raise patriots.